Hey, what's up guys? I'm working on a new project where I'm planning to do some 3D prints and I came up with this minimal Reno sculpture. I used very simple marble and wood materials and I wanted to show you how we can do it in under 5 minutes each. So we will spend more time there, but let's first get into the modeling of the Reno. As you can see, the cube won't be deleted this time and it's all about extruding some faces, deleting a few vertices, mirroring the whole thing and adding a subdivision modifier with edge creases here and there. Doing the top parts in the same way, but we are using a cylinder here instead of a cube. And for the big horns, we are using my favorite curves. So many things we could do with them. But that's part of another tutorial. Adding a plane for the floor, then a camera. And for the rendering, we are using cycles. With the denoiser, reducing the samples. Then adding an HDRI map in the world properties. I'm using this HDRI from Polyheaven. Just adding the mapping so I can rotate it in the right position. Adding area lights to enhance the HDRI lighting. Actually a few of them. Starting with the Musgrave texture for the wood material. Using the object texture coordinates. Making sure the scale of the objects is applied. Color ramp there to control the texture. Adding a few colors. This could be different depending on the wood you want to create. You can just drop there a few colors or pick a reference image and grab the colors from there. Drop the dimension of the texture to zero. Put the scale down and the details up to something like this. Lower the roughness a little bit. The color look wash out, so I'll tweak the color management for this scene by switching from Fumic to Standard and the look to medium high contrast. The other texture we're using is the noise and again drag down the scale, slide up the detail and increase the scale on some of the axes to get the stretching of the texture. You can play with the scale on different axes to get different results. You can also offset the texture like that. Here we might have some exposure issues. So by changing to foul score, we can see that we are have these red spots, which mean that there is a overexposure hiding the lights. And we can see that this is because of the HDRI. So just shifting slightly the location, we get this black spot, which means that there is an underexposure now. But if we turn back on the light, we can see that this will be fixed. Do some light position adjustments and we can complete the wood like clear coat all the way up with a little bit of roughness to get something like a polishing effect. Checking the texture and I saw that we are plugging the core of the noise which can be used as well but for this one I want to change to factor to get this look. adding a little bit of subsurface. We can use the same texture setup for the roughness. Making the dark brown spots glossier than the light browns. Adding a bump knot as well, but inverting it and lower the strength. Put down the red values for the subsurface radius and that's the final thing we have for the wood. Moving on with the marble, starting with the Voronoi texture, using the object coordinates, get also noise texture with a factor plug it there, add a coal ramp, tweak the bars and adjust the scale and the detail of the noise. On this one we are using a lot of subsurface and then tweak the radius 
increase a bit the specular and reduce the roughness. We need more of these lines but with a different scale so we can just duplicate the whole setup and mix it like that. Just change the mix node to color and plug the color around to A and B. Play with the scale in the detail of the second noise texture to make it smaller. Here is how the mix node works and we can make the bigger lines more visible. We can use the same setup again to add some cracks, connect it to the object, then add a bump node and plug it to the normal. So we have this thing, we only need to lower the strength. Then we can offset this one from the second texture. One more thing we can do is to mix it the white material with some grey spots. Just duplicated the principal BSDF node with exactly the same settings so we can plug the mix to the base color and the bump right there. And to mix these two materials we can use noise texture with the object coordinates and the color ramp. Click the bars and the settings till we have something like this. Connect all the nodes like that and to make it work we need a matte node, change it to multiply. So we have this white and grey variations now. Increase the multiply a little bit and that's the final thing. Anyway, a few more materials we can touch before the final render, like the one for the horns. For this one we will need a subsurface all the way up, just decrease the radius on all colors to 0.1, specular to maximum, adding a noise texture, plug it to the roughness, tweak the bars a little bit and play with the texture settings and that's it. For the floor, I will just grab some texture from Polyheaven, drop it there and plug it to the roughness with a color ramp to get some variations like this. Duplicate the plane to get this infinity black background for the final render. And that's everything. Thanks for watching guys, hope this was helpful.